Yeah, well, when you think of it, the, the Lake Erie ecosystem is very different than the ecosystems of the other four Great Lakes. Uh, those lakes are all in excess of 750 feet deep. These are deep lakes. Lake Superior is over 1,300 feet deep. Lake Erie, at its deepest point, is 210 feet. And that's in the eastern basin, essentially east of Erie, Pennsylvania. The western basin, west of Sandusky, Ohio, has an average depth of 24 feet. So here, where we stand at Putin Bay at Stone Laboratory, the water around us here is, at, on average, 24 feet deep. So this is pretty shallow. If we're the southernmost, which we are, and the shallowest, then we have to be the warmest. Our watershed is also very different. The watershed around the other lakes are dominated by forest ecosystems. The watershed around Lake Erie has the most agriculture, the most or the second most urban, suburban, and the least forest. That means we're going to get more nutrients, more sediment coming in from the tributaries. The Maumee at Toledo drains four and a half million acres of agricultural land, so it brings in lots of sediment. So it's a relatively small river when you think of Lake Erie because it brings in 3% of the flow, but it carries 40% of the sediment. You got that river draining four and a half million acres of agricultural land, bringing in lots of nutrients as a single source, and it's the largest tributary to the Great Lakes, which means the Great Lakes are fed by a bunch of small tributaries. If we're the southernmost, the shallowest, and the warmest, and we get the most nutrients, then biologically we have to be the most productive. It starts with lots of algae, and then we get zooplankton, or the bugs that eat the algae, and ultimately we get fish. So we have the largest fishery. In fact, we typically produce, or often produce, more fish for human consumption than the other four Great Lakes combined. And if you combine the two extremes in the system, Lake Superior, the biggest, greatest in volume, deepest in Lake Erie, the smallest in volume, uh, most productive, shallowest, warmest, real cold, real large, real small, real warm. Lake Superior has 50% of the water in the Great Lakes and 2% of the fish. Lake Erie has 2% of the water in the Great Lakes and 50% of the fish. So my 50 and 2 rule is what I call it. It's not exact, but it's instructive. It help pe helps people understand the difference. So if we're looking at, at fresh water, I mean, Lake Erie is a giant lake, but it, Lake Superior is 20 times larger in volume. So these are, these are big bodies of water.